Uh, welcome to a new video, the ultimate camera comparison, Sony Xperia 1 Mark III against Sony Xperia Pro I. Which one is better in photos? Which one is better in videos? We want to try this out right now, so let's get started. Here I have uh, both of the smartphones and their triple lens uh, setup. Both feature a 12 megapixel triple lens setup. Uh, yeah, with a normal wide angle lens, with uh, ultra wide angle and a telephoto. The One Mark III has the advantage that we have like a double zoom feature, 70 and 105 millimeter. And here on the Pro Eye only 50 millimeter zoom. There's nothing else possible. 60 millimeters ultra wide angle and 24 millimeters normal uh, wide angle main. So one major difference between the Pro I and the One Mark III is the shutter button. So we have like a hairline shutter button, I think it is called. So I just have to like not even press here, just have to like touch this shutter button and it starts focusing already. A little bit harder touch, it's like not very, very hard. And you don't feel it if I touch here. I don't feel that I'm focusing right now. I really don't feel it because it's not a half press on the shutter. And then when I press really, then it takes the photo. And on the One Mark III, I have a clear distinguish, distinction between the half press. So I really have a half press. So I have to half press to, ga to get into uh, the focusing mode. I really know that, ah, now I'm focusing. I don't have to watch uh, or take a look at the screen to know that I'm focusing because I know that I'm hard pressing and then uh, taking the shot. And this is a matter of preference, but I really have to say I like the One Mark III's uh, approach more but because I'm used to it. On all my cameras it's basically like this, but I can understand that the Pro Eye is more in terms of like it uh, should be more like the RX100. I never had an RX100 in my hand, so I don't really know. Um, but I can see that this might be more helpful for photographers uh, that want to be silent or for videographers that usually yeah, don't really want to focus and just want to hit the button for taking uh, the video. So yeah, this is uh, the difference here in terms of shutter button. So we start off with the Xperia 1 Mark III and its main camera system uh, which has a 1 over 1.7 inch size sensor. Full HD 60 frames per second is what I'm testing here right now. I have my microphone plugged in, laugh mic and wind is incoming. This is why I'm moving so that no wind noise will disturb this little vlog here. So this is the main camera that you can use on the One Mark III and I think it is working fine. No issues at all. Stabilization is fine. I'm using the Photo Pro app in basic mode and its video recording function there and this is the colors that you can get i know it is kind of a gloomy day we have winter time here so nothing much that i can do in terms of colors uh, but yeah this is what you can get in terms of video quality out of the one mark three and now the xperia pro i with its main one inch size sensor Roughly the surface area that is used is 1 over 1.3 inch, but still bigger than on the One Mark III and you get probably a better nice background blur. F2.0 is what I'm using here. The One Mark III doesn't have like dual aperture mode or different apertures that you can switch to, but the Pro I features F2 and F4 and I think F2 is working quite nice. And this is what you can get in terms of stabilization. In terms of colors, I think it should be a bit brighter than on uh, the One Mark III and yeah this is the quality stabilization colors and uh, so on and here we are on the Xperia 1 Mark III's ultra wide angle 16 millimeter 1080p 60 frames per second still the photo pro app in basic mode for video recording and this is what you can get in terms of colors and stabilization I think that the 60 millimeters is probably something that you can use for vlogging if you have some things to show because everything is nice and sharp also in the background you don't get much background blur even though it has autofocus so if I move an object uh, something like my camera here close by it should focus on this should be able to focus on this and uh, yeah this is uh, the ultra wide angle um, also 
is the same same as on the Pro i. That has the same sensor, basically maybe a bit of different glass, but that's basically everything. So let's check out the Pro i. Now I'm using the ultra wide angle on the Xperia Pro i, 16 millimeters ultra wide angle. You can probably see my camera that I was filming the intro with. And uh, yeah, this is uh, the ultra wide angle. This is the stabilization. This is the quality of the ultra wide angle, full HD, 1080p, 60 frames per second. So you can record with this and uh, external microphone plugged in directly to the headphone jack. This is also the audio quality. This is stabilization and colors. And I'm moving around a little bit. Um, probably you won't see much of a difference to the one mark three. And just for the sake of it, uh, the front-facing camera, the weakest camera on Xperia phones and this is the 8 megapixel front-facing camera. I think it can only do 1080p 30 frames per second. This is stabilization that you can get, uh, get high dynamic range. Uh, is that dynamic range? I don't know uh, in these gloomy days but yeah this is what you can get in terms of front-facing video on the One Mark III. And now the Xperia Pro i's front-facing video, also only 1080p, 8 megapixel, which is not the best. And uh, yeah, this is what you can expect in terms of video quality, in terms of stabilization and colors. So yeah, should be same same as the Xperia 1 Mark III. I don't see much of a difference here. But if you see some improvements, you can write it down in the comment section. So let's take a look at the photos from the Xperia 1 Mark III on the left always and the Xperia Pro i on the right always. First of all, um, the focus distance because of the smaller sensor, relatively smaller sensor on the Xperia 1 Mark III, it's not so much smaller if you take two into account what the surface area is the lens can actually use. But anyway, it allows you fo fo closer focusing. Though because the aperture is wider, what you will get up is like this now somehow to sharp like confirmed focus and uh, yeah this little stem here of this flower not sharp and if you compare this with the Xperia Pro i that has not so much close focusing distance so it's uh, a lot further away uh, you have this time this sharpness because this one here and as you can see how sharp it is has an aperture of f2 which is a lot closer uh, down than the 1.7 on the One Mark III. Let's take a look at other photos here. High dynamic range. I managed to catch a day with sunlight still and this is a photo that you can see. Here you can see also the difference between f2 on the right and f1.7 on the left. You can see a little bit more overblown highlight here in the sun area and a little bit yeah, more kind of refined uh, area here of the overblown area on the Pro i. You can see the sun flare is not as much predominant on the Xperia Pro as on the One Mark III. And in terms of sharpness, in terms of colors, it looks almost the same, almost identical. But notice the blue in the sky. You can see it is a little more cooler on the One Mark III and a bit more warmer on the Pro i. And this is in every photo when it comes to sky. The sky colors tend to be a little bit warmer on the Pro i than on the One Mark III. And uh, in terms of which one has the more realistic colors, it is something in between, I would say, because it's a subtle difference here only. And I would say the One Mark III maybe has a slight edge there when it comes to the color correctness. When we take a look at uh, other shots, like close-up shots here with the One Mark III of the Pro i, you can see, yeah, it's working fine, 1.7 aperture, nice background blur. And uh, now uh, let's take a look at the shot from the Pro i. And you can see also nice background blur, f2.0. I think the background blur is even nicer here on this one. And I think also that in general, what I was focusing on is a bit clearer. So you can see here, we don't have much of artifacts going on in this uh, one to one. And here on the One Mark III, you can see that there is a little bit here, especially under this lens, a little bit of noise already creeping in. And uh, yeah, it's a tiny bit less sharp, less detailed as on the Pro i. That might be due to also the f2 versus f1.7 kind of lens. But which shot you like more? I have to say the, the one on the right, the Xperia Pro i, is slightly better than the One Mark III. Here we have a shot where we see the differences in focusing systems. 
The Xperia Pro i has much more focusing points than the One Mark III and uh, so it happens occasionally where uh, the Xperia Pro i focused exactly on what I want to focus like this little pond, uh, this little puddle here it's almost as big as a pond isn't it? A frozen puddle uh, it was focusing on the foreground here like I wanted to and here the One Mark III wasn't focusing it was focusing on the background so the background is nice and sharp. What you can see here again is even though between the sharpness differences we can see a little bit more bluish sky and a little bit more yellowish sky on the Pro i so the same as I told you before. Uh, the aperture difference you can see also in close-up shots like this one here where I have an f1.7 and you can see nice and sharp here my Fuji XS10 and when we go up here to the MIG symbol you can see or the, this MIG flap and HDMI it's getting a bit unsharp and we have the same almost on the Xperia Pro i so let's go here you can see in terms of sharpness and differences wow it's very very close the only thing that I can see is maybe slightly unsharp here this A and maybe overblown highlights a little bit and this is a bit more sharp but it could be also due to the fact that I recorded this with f2 and you can see even with f2 where here this is unsharp already this is still maintaining sharpness full sharpness here so this is part of the background blur that comes into play this is still sharp and the cool thing about the xperia pro i and this is an advantage i would say for those close-up shots where i want to have like the whole camera sharp for example i cannot do this with the one mark three i only have to go further away with the one mark three if i want to do this on the xperia pro i can also go to f4 which uh, gives me less background blur but you can see the difference is dramatic when it comes to sharpness here on the non-focused area which is like the focused area is here on the lens so that's a big difference already let's take a look at other photos here and especially the colors and the color rendition and here on the first glance it looks the same but if you take a look at a a slightly closer look you will see that here especially for the wall for example that you have a slightly warmer tone on the one mark three ever so slightly warmer tone on the one mark three and when you take a look at the car and uh, the details on the car for example uh, you can often the pavement first of all also slightly cooler here on the pro i but the car you can see that it's ever so slightly also sharper and has a bit more detail also in the reflections going on especially here where the uh, front um, front LEDs of this car are because it's using LEDs I think already <laughs> so you can see this also in the sides here that there's more detail on the Pro i so this is something that you in general see you can see it's a little bit more especially here on the, the, the side also the fringing is coming uh, going on and I think that the lens um, is a little bit unsharp on this side here where the Xperia Pro i keeps and maintains the sharpness so that is also a first indicator that maybe the Xperia Pro i has a better lens as well. When we take a look at the ultra wide angle we can see that it's very consistent on the One Mark III so this is the main this is the ultra wide very consistent in terms of colors on the Xperia Pro i for some reason it managed to be a lot expose a lot darker here so it's not so consistent as on the one mark three and uh, what we can see here is like a darker exposure we can see still see the tendency to be a little bit more bluish than yellowish you can see it here on the pavement as well and we can still see the same tendency that the uh, xperia pro i tends to have a little bit of more sharpness take a look at the reflection in the car again and at the sides here the car especially the black car you can see that the Pro i tends to have a sharper shot and I think it's not because the sensor is any different I think it might be the same sensor I think it is because the lens in front of the sensor is better on the Pro i so the ultra wide angle tends to be better on the Pro i also ever so slightly then uh, when it comes to zoom shots in uh, fast autofocusing situations just like this object tracking a car the Xperia 1 Mark III has first of all 70 millimeters, so it's roughly three times zoom and the Xperia Pro i roughly two times zoom um, which is 50 millimeters. You can see both are able to track the car and get a nice sharp shot. I get a little bit closer on the 1 Mark III but what you can see also is when I even zoom in digitally a little bit here uh, is that ever so slightly there's a bit of more sharpness also going on on the Xperia Pro i which are 
really really like and uh, we come to the zoom cameras uh, another time here with this shot again three times roughly 70 millimeter and 50 millimeter Spiro Mark III also has 105 millimeter we will take a look at the 105 millimeter later um, let's first take a look at here and take a look at this shot again if I zoom in here on the Xperia Pro I and even if I zoom in to roughly the same um, three times digitally now you can see that I think ever so slightly the Xperia Pro I has less of this color fringing that's going on here and a little bit in terms of sharpness there's not much of a difference which is like super super interesting you can see that here and I can even see it better I did an AI clear zoom shot on the Xperia Pro I using uh, the slider to go up to the 2.9 times zoom which is exactly the same uh, that the Xperia 1 Mark III offers and when we zoom in here ever so slightly you can see that the Xperia 1 Mark III has an optical zoom you can see this here in the window where you have this each and every line of uh, this uh, uh, whatever this is <laughs> in front of the window is seen and here it is uh, getting you can see some of them but you don't see all of them which is a little bit softer but still very impressive and very comparable so the Xperia Pro Mark III in terms of zoom ever so slightly has the edge though I think the Xperia Pro I has the sharper zoom lens uh, when it comes to the 50 millimeter zoom definitely so uh, I would like to have the zoom lens or the, the at least the glass and the sharpness of the Pro I on the 1 Mark III for the 70 millimeter this would be uh, glorious uh, otherwise this shot is a shot uh, in RAW people are complaining sometimes that I don't do raw shots on the Xperia's this is a raw shot where I um, intentionally exposed uh, one EV down on both of those to have a nice uh, color in the background and then lifted them up later in Lightroom and this is the result so lifted up the shadows and this is the result and you clearly can see the Xperia Pro eyes potential even if I zoom in you can see a little bit of noise going on I could do a little bit more noise reduction eventually but then it gets a little bit smeary and not so sharp and um, roughly the same you can see on the Xperia 1 Mark III the Xperia 1 Mark III has uh, more color noise definitely it has the smaller sensor but also this blue uh, this greenish yellowish some kind of halo around me is a bit of weird there was a little halo also on the pro i but this was like easily correct and you don't see it really it was not a color shift halo and here it looks like yeah a halo around me like in green and yellow which is a bit weird uh, on the Xperia 1 Mark III anyway you can see when it comes to lifting shadows the Xperia Pro I is something you can work with the 1 Mark III falls apart and here you can see this is probably the reason why there's <laughs> such a huge price difference and now is the question how many times do you shoot in RAW and want to lift up shadows there the Xperia Pro I is the clear winner the 1 Mark III is not uh, as good and here you can see the main difference in terms of price point as well again another zoom shot to show you something else that I figured out on the 1 Mark III we have a lot more noise kicking in here already everything's nice and sharp looks okay to me you see the noise here the one on the Pro uh, I we don't have so much noise even if I digitally zoom in or crop in a little bit more you can see that it looks a bit brighter and less noisy on the zoom lens even though it's just two times zoom might be have, having something to do with the aperture as well but uh, also let's stay back one and let's do a digital crop AI zoom on the Pro I as well to see uh, if we see any big differences here yeah again it's a lot more noisier on the One Mark III and a lot more cleaner on the Pro I so I would even say if you stay in the roughly three times zoom range the pro i can beat the one mark three sometimes uh, this is 4.4 times zoom and if i do 4.4 times digital zoom you can still see that this it's a lot softer on the one mark three definitely 
and the uh, pro i is not winning here even though it is doing i think a good job comparable job here in regards to sharpness and so on but the optical zoom i think has a, s a slight edge here just take a look at the logo and the text underneath there you can see it is more readable on the one mark three than on the pro i so there we come to the zoom test i think zoom test uh, the better zoom lens is on the xperia pro i the more zoom range you get on the one mark three definitely so the next one is a test in um, lower light conditions both the same conditions and here you can see a big difference when we come to low light photography in terms of rendering uh, this was done a uh, manual shot but auto white balance was turned on you can see how auto white balance is completely different here in this case and you can also see that the f2 has an advantage i think it was shot with f2 um, let me check was it f2 or was it f4 no it's f4 already so uh, where the one mark three has the advantage that you can have f4 as a yeah as an option as an f-stop number to get this little object so you can see there's a lot of noise already creeping in but to get everything nice and sharp here all the little buttons of this little tiny camera and here on the one mark three you can see it in direct comparison it is also sharp but not as sharp as on the pro i we have a little bit of like blown out highlight and unsharpness here it has a lot of noise a lot more color noise i would say the pro i more noise that yeah you would expect from a camera and yeah it's a lot sharper as well here's like a little bit soft because of the 1.7 uh, aperture that you cannot change on the one mark three so this is keep this in mind you have the advantage for close-up things to have things more in focus and it especially becomes um, also uh, seen here in those uh, lower light conditions then we come to some uh, other hdr kind of shots or shots that i took where I, I noticed a change here you can see the exposure is dramatically different both were focusing on the same thing the same spot here and uh, when we take a look at the sharpness i think both managed to get a nice sharp shot for some reason the xperia pro i however has the better hdr or better exposure on the main subject you can see also the grass here is more green and not so dull and and, and dark and when it comes to uh, here i think the xperia one mark three has like exposed a little bit darker to get this cloud more yeah, into play where this is like very very hazy here and overblown on the pro i um, but yeah you get a brighter shot on the pro i and a darker shot on the xperia mark 3 so this is a difference in terms of hdr that i could trigger a few times you can check the next photo which is a zoom in shot again i used the pro i with uh, the uh, 50 millimeter and then use the ai zoom to go to roughly three point yeah three times the zoom i think it is is it already this one yes it is this one and uh, here you have also a difference in hdr again a little bit darker exposure on the, on the one mark three could be also that because of the aperture being a little bit smaller on the one mark three and then on the pro i and yeah this is what you get in terms of uh, colors in terms of hdr you can see the clouds were moving a little bit faster so we have a slightly different situation as well but in terms of details this is what 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 counts really if you don't crop in 100 percent you will not notice much of a difference between the 70 millimeter and the 50 millimeter cropped to 70 millimeter on the pro i so this is i think um complement for the pro i i would say and you because you get a brighter shot here in this case you can see a little bit more of details as well but yeah it's very very close together and uh, yeah not much of a difference here uh, in terms of this i would even say like the uh, pro i has a slight advantage let's take a look here um, yeah, maybe in terms of sharpness you can see here a little bit more on the on the one mark three and on the pro i it's a little bit more mushy but it's uh, very negligible then we come to the next shot close-up shot uh, with the main camera and another this is like very um, this is why i'm uh, like emphasizing it larger sensor on the pro i but smaller aperture means that even if i to choose uh, to shoot in f2 first of all there's the difference now clearly seen again of close focusing distance so i'm as close as possible on the pro i 
to get this leaf sharp and you can see it looks sharp and the background blur is also okay and on the one mark three you can see f1.7 also as close as i can go but you can see only the front of the leaf is sharp the rest is already getting unsharp this is the f1.7 also uh, focusing manually focusing by the way on both um, and uh, yeah the background blur i think is very very similar and there you see the difference between you can get the same background blur but you get more things sharp on the one mark uh, on the pro i and one mark three you have more background blur which doesn't always help in this scenario for example on the pro i i also have always a chance to go to f4 like i did here right now you still get a nice shot and you get even more sharpness which is like also a big difference again here in this shot and yeah also this leaf is sharp and this i could like pr yeah crop out and make its own photo out of it it's like a big difference and it's helpful for creative people who want to shoot uh, such shots and another hdr shot to show you that uh, the hdr on both is pretty okay and pretty similar still but we have in the tendency on the one mark three to uh, get the highlights a little bit more down as you can see here in the sky the the clouds and here it is more overblown on the pro i uh, using the ultra wide angle and not only the ultra wide angle also the zoom and the mainland so we have in the ultra wide angle the same kind of uh, behavior as on the other lenses in terms of sharpness and sharpening i think we have this time on the one mark three a little bit more colder colors and a bit more warmer colors on the pro i but look at the sharpness here and i think the ultra wide angle here this is not only i think the sensor might be the same but again this is the glass the glass is sharper on the pro i this is why you get sharper results uh, when you are comparing this one to one here and a bit more blurry results on the one mark three then the next shot and uh, this is again ultra wide angle to confirm if i'm right with the sharpness or not and here you can see the cars it looks more clear on the pro i than on the one mark three agreed you have to really have them side by side otherwise if i would have one after another showed you one after another it would be very hard to see any difference so that they're very very close by but you can see here also the sharpness of this car at the side it's a bit more soft on the one mark three and on the pro i a bit more sharp uh, reflections look better it's in general i think a better camera system on the pro i and this is the price that you pay for the pro i on top of the already expensive one mark three uh, that uh, yeah where you get a little bit more of these extras and uh, here i think the one mark three has a little bit better deal to, dealt with the uh, with the high dynamic range and the pro i had a little bit of struggling especially here the car which is a bit of overblown but in terms of sharpness the pro i has the better lens when we take a look at the main lens uh, which is like yeah the, the main attraction for the pro i and not much of a difference if you don't zoom in you really have to zoom in and take a look at the details to see much of a difference here and here you can see again that the pro i simply has more details has more it, it looks more natural it looks more like a yeah, dslm uh, system camera the output that you get here and the xperia one mark three suffers a little bit of unsharpness here and there and yeah the output is not so crisp it's not so clear as on the one mark three and you can see this with every kind of photo and uh, here the, the text uh, in the background for example the reflection in the car again tiny little bit better on the pro i um, and yeah this background here also tiny little bit better on the pro i in general but it's very very close and you have to really zoom in to see the differences and here we see low light performance we see again a little bit of cooler colors on the pro i a bit more warmer colors on the one mark three this is the main cam in low light you can see this little uh, center here uh, in front of uh, the door and in terms of colors and uh, both have night mode kicking in i think both have issues with the stitching uh, handheld and you can see 
that may be a tiny bit sharper here on the one mark three than on the pro i which uh, might be because i was holding it in my hands and it was a bit shaky because it was cold uh, but in the rest is like a bit cooler on the pro i a bit warmer on the one mark three when we take a look at here uh, both shots good more sharpness and a less overblown highlight on the pro i a little bit more overblown highlights a bit unsharp on the one mark three and in general a bit warmer maybe a bit brighter even on the one mark three uh, let's take a look at the background blur yeah a lot blurry on the pro i so this is now even though we have 1.7 aperture and we have a f2 aperture on the pro i the uh, sensor is just simply larger on the pro i and you can see it in this case and uh, the next shot very very similar a little bit brighter interestingly exposed on the one mark three a little bit darker exposure on the pro i when we take a look at details here we can see again more clarity on the pro i and a little less clarity a little less sharpness uh, on the one mark three but you can see a little bit more i think blown on the pro i maybe here well, that's a bit different again uh, more yellowish color on the one mark three and more cool down color on the pro i but i think the sharpness is there on the pro i and is missing on the one mark three here again another shot with the zoom camera to take a look at how they perform in the night 70 millimeter against 50 we can see here the uh, pharmacy logo and we can see the little snake logo with the fountain i think it is and uh, here it's a little bit harder to see i have to say so night mode uh, if i zoom in a little bit more yeah one it's very close by still even in night mode where i would say the point is goes to the one mark three because it has a little bit more detail because it gets closer to the subject here dark alley uh, is it alley dark street and we can see that uh, the exposure on both or on the night time that kicked in is almost the same night mode that kicked in is almost the same but we have a little bit of struggle i think here it is sharp and here it is also sharp but i would say in this case the one mark three did a better job uh, because i think i see more clarity on the one mark three and also in the background of the cars and here this car and here you can see it's a bit of shaky on the pro i it could be also due to the sensor is bigger and yeah it shakes a little bit more than simply and the stitching needs to yeah overcome this uh, in night mode so the one mark three has um, a little bit better here is doing a little bit better the ultra wide angle in interestingly enough uh, again i think still it's the same sensor but the pro i has the better glass you can see brighter exposure on the one mark three but the details are lacking and he here you can see the difference in terms of glass i would say because you can see it's unsharp on the one mark three and here you don't have anything sharp i was searching is nothing really sharp and on the pro i i guess we have this nice little background blur because it's night mode but we have here at least the background sharp even though it's a little bit more overexposed than on the one mark three uh, it is sharper here and uh, yeah here on the side you can see also the difference in terms of details that you can still see uh, it is a little bit better also noise you can see a lot of noise on the one mark three that you don't see on the pro i better algorithm maybe newer sensor on the pro i newer revision of the sensor but definitely better glass so it's uh, yeah better there here we have a bit of a green tint on the one mark three for some reason so with this bright situation it didn't handle that well and we have like the white light that it really was on the pro i which is nice and uh, yeah uh, it looks okay i would say everything nice and sharp when we take a look at the background blur ooh, okay it's a bit of noisy eventually but when you take a look at here main camera background blur i think it's a bit more background blur on the one mark three and uh, yeah this is that then uh, another dark shot here to see which one is doing better again i think a bit more warmer colors on the one mark three a bit cooler on the pro i in terms of details i think you can hear e more easily spot that there is something 
there and here it's a bit darker and a little bit less sharp again you can see this here the side as well that this one has problems with the sharpness where the pro eye keeps the sharpness and uh, another shot both working very good but this time the pro eye managed to have a brighter exposure which is interesting in terms of sharpness and detail level not much of a difference i would say i would even say that the pro eye is slightly overexposed here in this area where here the uh, one mark three does a better job also in terms of sharpness maybe uh, yeah very very close in night mode um, zoom lens um, difference here as well 70 millimeters and 50 millimeters what we can see here is brighter exposure on the pro eye might be due to the wider open aperture um, detail level you can read something you can get the phone number if you need to and here as well but um, yeah both are very noisy i think the noise level on the one mark three is a little bit more pronounced and uh, yeah it's almost the same there's not much of a difference i have to say when it comes to this just like a little bit brighter exposure on the pro eye and the next shot where i think the one mark three again has a more yellowish kind of uh, tone to it and the pro eye has more the realistic cooler color here but in terms of sharpness the one mark three beats the uh, pro eye in this shot for some reason i think it was focusing or was distracted by the lights that came in here and was focusing on something else maybe uh, anyway you can see uh, at the side that there's a bit more clarity still going on on the pro eye despite the fact it has uh, misfocused here um, probably or definitely because it's not sharp i'm not sure where it was focusing on and uh, yeah with the larger sensor you have sometimes the problem that maybe it was focusing here that you don't have everything in focus as it was on the one mark three where you clearly could say okay i'd focus on this and then i know the thing next to it a little bit further away is also been in focus and you don't have this on the xperia pro i with the f2 this is why you have the f4 as well but i wouldn't uh, wouldn't recommend you to uh, do some shots in f4 in night time and then some indoor shots to show you also again the general tendency of more yellowish uh, exposure or white balance on the one mark three in darker situations complete darkness here and it managed to do a night mode to, to do a good job but the pro eye clearly wins here not only in terms of sharpness but also in terms of colors definitely because it's less yeah yellowish or yeah yes very yellowish and the, the white of the bathroom here tiles is clearly seen here this is just so somehow yellowish for some reason if you add a little bit more light also the brightness on the pro eye tends to be a little bit better in terms of sharpness i think both are very very good in this case in this example i would even say maybe a tiny bit tad unsharp on the pro eye because the stitching needs to do a little bit more work because we have a larger sensor area here but it's very very close and uh, yeah you have to have your preferences for this otherwise you don't really notice any difference in terms of uh, photos so yeah the pro eye in general i think has the slight edge in terms of photos but it's a very very slight edge and is the slight edge really really yeah the 600 euro more kind of category or not you decide for yourself let's check out the videos uh, the xperia one mark three on the left and uh, the pro eye on the right what we can see here directly on first glance is that we get more background blur on the pro eye interestingly enough we also have the same thing as with photos a little bit more yellowish kind of skin color for example that you can he see here and a bit more cooled down skin color on the pro eye a little bit more like the rx100 lineup when it comes to sharpness i have to go to full screen to see a bit of a difference and i can play back here the one mark three for example and you can see yeah this is how it looks like stabilization is working fine background blur is good sharpness is also good um and let's compare this with the pro eye and what we can see here is a little bit more sharpness i would say and background blur is also wonderfully done here stabilization is also as good there's a bit of more sharpness it's a bit darker i would say as well as you can see in this uh, specific situation that might be due to the f2 
1.2 aperture of the Pro I and 1.7 on the One Mark III, so you get this kind of different look, which uh, you see what you see here, and also the sharpness again. Here, I think it's a bit over sharpened, and uh, look at my my yeah cut down beard and beard and uh, a little bit of the the hairs that are still there or should be there, and at the um, jacket that I had on and the fluffy pieces here, and compare it with the one on the Pro I, you can see there's a little bit more detail here for. What would also I have to say the color is more accurate on the Pro I because it is a little bit darker here this fluffy piece of the jacket itself but it is sharper could be due to the f-stop number but I think it has something to do with the processing and the processor and the bigger pixels and so on so the detail in the hair as well you can see that there is but you have to really like pixel peep here in the video because you don't see much of a difference here when it comes to the um, main sensor when it comes to vlogging. When it comes to the ultra wide angle, we have a similar kind of color scheme difference. So we have a bit of whiter um, picture on the left and a bit of darker picture on the uh, right. When we play back this thing, also we, go, we can go into full screen here, you can see. Yeah, there's a bit of artifacts going on. It is nice and sharp. Stabilization is working fine. And uh, now compared to the Pro I, we can see yeah maybe a little bit more fluid, a little bit of artifacting going on, and a bit more realistic colors on the Pro I. And uh, yeah, like I said in my photos, I think the lens here is a little bit better on the Pro I, but also the processing is better here. It tries to. Both are tr have my face nicely exposed, but for some reason the One Mark III has a little bit of like overexposing. You can see it here in the background where this house here has a little bit of overexposing, where on the Pro I we don't have this issue. So it's exposing a little bit darker, but still I think no issues here with the uh, ultra wide angle. Uh, so this is on both with the ultra wide angle you can see nice and sharp nice and clean with the pro eye having a slight edge sometimes maybe a little bit too dark for some for certain people but i think this adds to mm, what is more real in this scene and it's not that bad auto focusing by the way is on both cameras i only demonstrated it on the one mark three but of course the pro eye also has this so it is can be wonderfully used for some close-up shots, for example, or for some uh, vlogging shots. Then we check out the main front camera, which is, yeah, I think in both, again, the same Samsung sensor, so I don't see much of a difference. Though there is, I think, a bit more contrast on the One Mark III. And there is, interestingly enough, for some reason there is on the pro i a little bit more background blur which is interesting so as you can see here i have a bit more background blur especially in this scene you can see people in the background and here i think it is a bit more sharp also the background so maybe also again as they're using the same sensor maybe they are using a little bit of uh, different lens, different photo length as well because you can see here my hair is cut off a little bit and I was holding it at the same distance basically so yeah here's also nice background blur so uh, in general the front facing camera is not the best stabilization is working fine on them I think the Pro Eye is a little bit too close down and the One Mark III has the better like uh, distance from my face but in general it's like very very close and not much of a difference also in terms of colors and in terms of brightness. Uh, what do you think about those uh, videos and my findings? By the way I only tested the Photo Pro app in basic mode. If I would have tested the Video Pro app in the highest quality settings then the Pro Eye does shoot higher megabit per second um, rates that um, can outperform the Xperia One Mark III's uh, Photo Pro video mode. The One Mark III has some focusing issues sometimes when using the Video Pro app from the Pro Eye. So this is why I didn't want to uh, 
uh, compare those both and I have enough content I think for this video anyway. So which of those two phones is now the clear winner? I think they're both very very good and very very close but of course the main sensor on the Pro is the one highlight that beats the one mark three definitely i think also that the zoom lens has a little bit more sharpness and i think clearer results you can get out of it and it might be also more useful for portraits on the pro i model but you can tell me in the comment section what you think which one is better in video which one is better in photos i'm very very interested i'm surprised to buy the pro eyes a good resolution and uh, by yeah the main sensor which is really really good and a real improvement to the one mark freeze what do you think write it down in the comment section that is everything for this video hope you enjoyed it thanks for watching until the next time bye